Hey guys, what's good? It is your boy Pookie here. Right, we've got the another one of these big wild truck, wild truck warrior trucks. Uh, let's just put it on its side so we can show which one we've got with this one. We've got the number 10428B. Now, out of the four, I will say that is my favourite looking one. It, it just looks like an absolute beast. One of the things I do like about with this model of car, it's not just like the smaller versions of these ones. With this, it's actually got two gears on it and a three channel um, radio for it. So what we're going to do now is I'm just going to take everything out of the box real quick and then we can show you the content. So now we've took everything out of the box, we can actually see what we're getting inside. So we get the car itself and we'll take a look at that in just a minute. We get the instruction manual, which tells you everything about it, what you need to know, parts, etc. We've also got a little wrench there for taking off the wheels if we need to. We've got this little box here, and I presume this is going to be the balance charger. I've not fully checked yet myself, but one can only presume. Give it a wiggle. Yeah, it's just a pretty standard balance charger, nothing too special. 7.4 volt. We need to get a UK adapter for that. So that's the trend there, the uh, charger. Now the radio. This is the same radio that came with the other big ones of these, which is the is the 10428, and that came with the same radio as this, but that one caught fire, so I did have to change all the units, so unfortunately I did have to change the radio as well. Uh, but this receiver's a really nice radio. It's got a lovely feel to it. It doesn't have that cheap plastic feel. You've also got your auxiliary switch there for your third channel. A digital display there and a antenna that's outside of the transmitter and I believe that is a true antenna so it's not just there for looks so we've got quite a nice transmitter there but let's take a look at the car because that's what we've come here for aren't we really this thing is beautiful just reminds you of one of them things that you like see out you know area 51 in Nevada obviously never been there myself would like to go but yeah this thing is a beast as far as the chassis goes, I'm pretty much 100% sure it's the same truck throughout all four of their models. It's the same chassis underneath, but you've just got a different cage on the top. So, I mean, it's good for parts because you'll know you'll always have spare parts if you do have a couple of these trucks about. I have the smaller version of that green one that I ended up ripping apart. And I've used that for spares for all my other trucks if I needed them. You know, if say like I broke a wing arm or my cousin's broke one on his, I can help him fix this. But enough of that. Let's get into the battery and see what the battery comes with this car. If I can get it out. It's quite a big one, this. Ah, it's velcro down, that's why it's not coming out. Nice little velcro ship on the back to stop it from bouncing about. So what is this battery? It is a 7.4 volt, 2,200 milliamp. I think you could probably fit something a bit chunkier in there. Probably cut away the plastic, put a bigger battery in there. So that's definitely something I would do. And definitely rig up an FPV kit for it. So yeah, from what I can see so far, it's a nice car. He looks happy. So yeah, let's just go and take this out and see what it can do. Catch you on the track, guys. Siren in my mind. I can't decide if I was dreaming or alive. There's something circle in the water where I'm swimming. Smoking weed is telling me the demon isn't real, but girl, I'ma tell you what's next. I can play the rope, fill it if you really want to. I can be the one that you really want to walk back. Even if I reach into a deep, I got the combat ready on lock for you. I'm watching all the clocks, but the tap, but the ticket can't stop for you. I'll write the clock for you. But when it went into landing, my eyes are realizing what I'm witnessing is tapping. But let me recollect myself first. My lids are dropping low, like I need you self worth. I'm only under 20, gotta learn how health works. Maybe when I do, then she'll cast me. I can figure out, oh, oh, she's in the Together. 
with a double O, seven C, and I could eat the Lido with my dream in the car. I need to tell them this to show them that I'm real, come on. So, what are my thoughts on this uh, WL Tour as well, Crawler? The fucking best one I've ever had! My D's! I swear down, I'm not even joking guys, with a locking back diff on this, as you can see, there were some parts it did struggle with on real high vertical parts, that's only because the front wheels couldn't get a grip because they don't have a locking diff. The tyres could do with an upgrade, I have proper rock crawling tyres on this, I definitely think this is a good baseline for getting into rock crawling and a price tag of about 100 quid you cannot moan so I, i'm do you know what i think this is a world's first i'm not too sure but i'm gonna rate this bad boy a 10 out of 10. i'm keeping this i'm gonna keep this as a baseline just like i'm advising everybody else to do and i'm gonna be upgrading this beast i, I cannot fault it two uh, two speed gearbox on it locking back diff i'll probably end up locking that front diff so yeah 10 out of 10 if you want one of these guys i'll leave the links down in the description as always and yeah i hope you like this video guys if you did like this video don't forget to like share and subscribe and as always guys peace out